Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. This is the companion YouTube channel to www.texasflycaster.com where you can go to find highly detailed information about fly fishing in Texas. Hi, and welcome to the Thursday Texas Fly Fishing Report. It is Thursday, April 16th. We hope you made it through tax day. And we are here under some really unstable weather conditions here in North Texas. We're looking at possibility of uh, a lot more rain here and that is a good thing and a bad thing so that's what's going on in north texas this this unstable pattern seems to be around most of the state um, you just never know how far it's going to reach or where that dry line goes to and comes back to but i'm not a weatherman so watch your local weather and make sure that if you're on the water in a boat that you pay attention to all warnings and watches well it looks like a really great weekend. Things are really shaping up. Spring has sprung. It is time to go fishing, guys. It is time. We made it through the winter. We made it through the early spring, and now we're here. There's fish all over North Texas in the lakes and uh, in the creeks everywhere. Um, the patterns that we're looking at right now are based on rain, and part of it's good and part of it's not so good. On the lakes, like Ray Roberts here in North Texas, that water's been down for almost five years now. So as that water went down, vegetation grew right here, and it grew 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 here. So now that water's coming back up through that vegetation, and the stuff that was at the top of that level is the oldest. So the oldest stuff is actually the tallest, most healthy, and thick. So that water gets in there, and the fish get in there, and the carp get in there specifically, and bass too, of course. They're hard to get to very hard to get to because of the thickness of that five-year-old growth and the fact that uh, it takes a long time for this stuff when it's soaked with water to actually you know die so we've got a problem there um, that we'll work our way through of course if you're coming in from the outside what I call fishing from the inside out which is on the water towards the shore um, on a boat that means that you got a much greater chance of success and many more fish to target and catch uh, on lakes. Now the flip side of all this of course is that uh, these lakes if they get full enough they'll start releasing water and they may be forced to release water anyway for places that aren't getting rain down down the chain. So think about that. Think about water releases. Here in North Texas uh, the last time I checked at Ray Roberts it was it was shut in, virtually shut in with a trickle coming out. So it's been about a month of that. So they're holding their water. That meanwhile, Louisville Lake, Lake Dallas is getting a lot of water straight into it, and they'll probably be first to release water if they're not already opened up. And those areas below the dams are really good for fly fishing and really good when, when that, that oxygeniza oxygenization gets going down below these dams and it percolates a lot of water and a lot of oxygen and those fish come up for instinctual, instinctive reasons. So anyway, that's what's going on there. You know, we're trying to get out as much as we can right now and do some fly fishing. And it's really kind of difficult because work, work, all the different work I do and things I do is also percolating at the same time. Um, we'll be going to uh, Houston this weekend, probably going to either Lake Conroe because I'm, I stay on the west, upper west side of Houston, and, or... I'm making the long run down to the SLP and, and checking things out down there. Of course, any reports I give you, uh, the one things that I actually do firsthand are top priority. And what I'm seeing on the coast now is things seem to have gotten a little bit quiet, maybe slowed down just a little bit. It could be that uh, there's something going on on the coast, but I really don't know because I'm just not seeing anything. So maybe if you know anything about the fly fishing conditions on the coast, you can tell me all about it. It just seems like right now in Texas we're finally getting back to what used to be a normal rain pattern, which I think now in the next 50 years will be an extraordinary rain pattern where we actually get rain, you know, in this part of Texas in the spring. So I think this is extraordinary, and we'll just, the only time will tell. Of course, if you read my uh, website, texasflycaster.com, you know that I was pretty pessimistic about you know, local lakes going up, and they certainly have gone up as much as, for instance, Ray Roberts has gone up two feet in the matter of a week. So that it's getting closer and closer to uh, its conservation level, which is just amazing. So anyway, I want you to be careful this weekend if you go out because there's going to be a lot of guys out there. Another thing you want to do is always read 
the website and know before you go do your research I actually went out last Saturday and I got all tangled up in a uh, in a uh, bass fishing tournament there on Lake Ray Robertson it was just a miserable experience terrible so that means keep that in mind that you know if there's any tournaments going on it's going to shake you up pretty bad if you're fly fishing because you know you need <laughs> you need the conditions to work for you not against you um, anyway, have a great weekend. I'm sure there's something I forgot. I'll put it in writing and, and put it on the website, www.texasflycaster.com. If you like what you see here, be sure and subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel. Check it out. Um, the most current stuff will go on Twitter. And actually, the most, most, most current stuff now goes on Instagram in little video clips. And I will, if something really great happens, I'll go ahead and shoot it. On, on the phone and send it directly to the, the YouTube channel from there this weekend. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Sorry this report is so short. Check with me next week. Things will be a lot more simplified and we'll have some more news for you. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. Thanks also goes out to the sponsors. If you need more information, be sure to visit www.texasflycaster.com. And if you have any information about fly fishing in Texas, Feel free to share it, and we'll be glad to get it on the report.